So we're sitting here at, at, at what's going to become Tech Hub Riga officially in a, in a, in a short time. Uh, can, can you t tell, tell me why, uh, what, what's going to happen here now in the next few weeks and months? So Tech Hub Riga, uh, we're officially launching on February 9th. We're actually open for, 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 for residents to work here. And Tech Hub Riga is a co-working and community organization. Um, so we are uh, affiliated with Tech Hub in London and we've formed the uh, Riga branch, uh, which is a space for resident members uh, who are product-oriented startups to have their companies here, and they range between one and about five people in a startup. They work in this space, um, this is their office, and here they participate in a community of like-minded entrepreneurs who are also creating their startups, and they benefit both locally from being in this community, learning, sharing with each other, and helping each other, and they also are part of a wider tech hub community in London and other cities and, and beyond which where they can online and also traveling there physically they can be part of that community, find opportunities for, for customers, partners and growth. And, and how, how many uh, um, resident uh, startups do you have now? We have about 25 members uh, which is from about 12 startups on so average of two and something per team um, and uh, we have space for about 40. Um, we expect to fill up in the next few months and uh, then we have annual members who will uh, join and, and come to our events and uh, participate in the, in the community but not actually be based here. So uh, what kind of startups are these? I mean what kind of things are these people developing here? They're doing all sorts of things that are internet and soft software related so we don't have hardware facilities, a lab or anything so most of these are internet uh, and, and software startups but they're doing things like geolocation apps, they're doing uh, a new address book for Mac, they're doing a uh, car rental search tool, uh, they're, they're building a Twitter social media uh, uh, Twitter social media analytics tools and various other kind of uh, products like that. So they're sort of uh, more or less in tune with what's going on in, 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 in the, um, the IT market in general? So. Uh, yes, and they're <coughs> focused on global business, so, so the vast majority of our members uh, have in mind uh, to build a business that is global, they're targeting customers primarily in the US and Western Europe, um, some also in Russia, um, and they're looking to create a business which, which grows beyond the Latvian market, um, obviously, and, and it's much bigger than that. Um, do you see that there's, there's an interest in, in, in the European venture capital scene for what's going on here in Latvia and in the Baltics? There's actually a lot of interest. So I was at Seed Camp in London uh, in September, and there were uh, four out of the 20 teams were from the Baltic states. And it was clear among the investors that there's a real understanding that the Baltic states have something going for them, and that uh, Estonia obviously being the leading example, but also Latvia and, 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 and Lithuania have quite a lot of startups and a lot more than the size of these countries would warrant. So um, there's a lot of interest, and at TechCrunch Baltics, we have quite a lot of investors coming to, to look at what's happening here.